you know, am I going to put some heat to that thing and straighten it, which I did not want to do. Um, so I decided to wear my hair. Oh, doing my dance. Hey, I'm doing my dance. Don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, please go ahead, take a look around. If you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adana PA and make sure that you hit that notification bell on my channel so you can know every time I put a new video out. So I've gotten, I had this question asked to me like a while ago and then I got it re-asked to me like recently. So I wanted to just kind of make a video about it. Um, now this question is universal, even though I know that my ladies are the ones that are gonna really be paying attention to this, but I'm going to be addressing how you should wear your hair for your PA school interview. Interview. Now this goes like I like I want to like be politically correct about it, but you know like I am black. What? If you didn't know, <laughs> and so for me the struggle was I'm also black and natural, right? So my struggle was understanding like how do I want to wear my hair? Like did I want to wear my natural hair? Like um, and and that was really like a concern. Like am I you know doing a twist out and and then if it's humid, like I'm thinking, all right, then this hair is gonna be like wide or am I putting, you know, am I gonna put some heat to that thing and straighten it, which I did not wanna do. So I decided to wear my hair pulled back. And I really think that that's like a nice way of wearing your hair anyways. I mean, if it works for the military, then um, I think PA school interviews is sufficient as well. And um, if you're not black, if you're Hispanic, if you're Caucasian, if you're Indian, um, whatever the case that may be, I think wearing your hair pulled back, you know, like kind of out of your face is actually like a good look to use for your PA school interview. If your hair is um, not as like poofy, I guess, or curly, your curls aren't as tight as, you know, you getting in a fro and you can wear it down with kind of a wet look, um, then I think that that is a good option as well. But you just have to take things into consideration like weather. So um, if your hair does not act well in the humidity, then make sure that you're not now like a frizzy mess, right? Also, with respect to the wet look, like you don't want this wet patch on your back. Just look so my ladies are the ones that are gonna actually be addressing, like I'm gonna be addressing this too. However, I wanted to start with a gentleman first because I know that, you know, like you guys matter too, okay? So with respect to that, make sure that you're just kind of clean shaven. So um, if you are wearing a beard, you know, which some schools don't want a beard um, at all, they don't want you wearing a beard, uh, it, and if, they do like it has to be super clean so that's also something that you have to take into consideration when you're going into your interview you know make sure that you're clean shaven if you do have a mustache like kind of shave it down make sure that your beard is like really clean and well put together um, and make sure that your hair is nice and combed so for my gentlemen that may have dreads or braids um, you know, make sure it's you just got them things tightened up. You know, you got your yourself nice and cleaned, cleaned up those edges, and your braids are nice and cleaned and pulled back. Um, you don't want to be going up there with like a fro if you have hair like that. If you have curly hair um, and it's long, you may want to pull it back into a man bun. <laughs> <laughs> or um, just kind of take, make sure that it's tamed. Um, it's really all about putting your best foot forward and making sure that that hair looks right. Um, you also don't want to have any dandruff or anything like that. So make sure that you've washed your hair the night before and then it's like well moisturized for my men of color and for my Caucasian men, um, just make sure that there's no like flakes or anything like that. Now to my ladies. If you have straight hair, um, you can again also wear it pulled back in a bun. Um, if you wanna do a top bun, I don't suggest doing like a super high top knot. You can kind of like put it back here in the middle. Make sure that everything is slick and, and nice in place. You don't have any flyaways. Also make sure that you don't have any dandruff on any of your clothing. So make sure you have washed your hair at least like the night before or the week of, um, you know, for those of us that don't wash our hair every day uh, so that it doesn't, you're not coming in with like this really like 
you know, just kind of messy dandruff on your, your new suit that you just bought for this interview. If you have straight hair, you can wear it down. I suggest that you don't have the hair in your face. If you are wearing it down, kind of wear it like how I have my hair today, where, you know, like it's, part on the side but you know going back or if you're doing like a middle part make sure that it's you can like pull it behind your ear or you can like put part behind your ear and part on the side but you want your face to be able to be seen but you don't want your hair to be a distraction and so with all of these tips that i'm giving you all i think that is the most important takeaway you don't want your hair to be a distraction and so if your hair style is a distraction so color trinkets whatever it is that you're you're putting in like you know you don't want to go in with purple or, or pink here or blue here if that's what you have so you know you want to make sure that these things are taken into consideration so that it's one less thing that they have to hold against you or they have to be like oh, okay well now nah, maybe she's not ready like she looks a little wild or he looks a little wild i don't know if he's ready for this rigorous work that he'll have cut in um cut out for himself through pa school and so that's really important for you to know and um i think that you know just again going playing it safe when it comes to the hairstyle so pulled back pulled in a ponytail, pulled up in a bun, or even if you want to wear your hair down, kind of having it out of your face um, is really important. I hope these tips were beneficial for you um, and anyone that's really considering like, oh man, like how am I gonna wear my hair? Because that was really a dilemma for me. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram at Adana PA and um, just be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have any other questions for me. Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.